So uh, the demo that I'm going to show you today is probably a little bit different than, than most demos here. I'm going to be talking about cluster computing. So uh, every day big clusters solve really hard problems. Clusters do things like render the next Pixar movie, price millions of options, stock options, uh, design drugs, uh, model climate change. They're basically doing things that one computer alone can't do. So our platform is called Copper. Oh, it just worked. That's completely, that's amazing. That's the demo that it just worked. Our platform is called Copper, and it's effectively a cluster operating system. It makes a lot of the problems associated with managing a big cluster of computers just disappear. So we've managed a few of these clusters before, and it's really hard to get right. You, you waste a lot of time, and it's really hard to manage the resources efficiently. So I'll just show you a quick uh, visualization here. So this is actually showing a cluster that's in our rack down the street at Rogers Venture Base. And the, the physical resources have been transformed into a, a cloud of resources in this case. And we're running two virtual clusters inside this cloud of resources called Fedora and Ubuntu. So as I explain what a virtual cluster is, which are Fedora and Ubuntu, I'll just VNC into one of them. So a virtual cluster is basically a collection of virtual machines that are running on this physical cluster. Now, for those of you who don't know what a virtual machine is, it's basically a software encapsulation of everything we think of uh, when we think of a physical computer. So it's got a disk, it's got network, the operating system, libraries, application, user data, the whole thing. The only difference between a virtual machine <coughs> And a physical one is that a virtual machine is not bound to any particular physical computer. So you can easily move it from one to the other. And you can even do that while the virtual machine is running. So let me just uh, kind of reinforce the idea that it's exactly the same as a, as a physical computer. So I can just watch, uh, like here's my, my network, my memory stats, everything's used just looks like a physical computer. Now, having virtual machines lets us treat the resources in the physical cluster as just a pool. We add in something else, we can grow our virtual clusters. Uh, the real magic of the grid-centric platform is the fact that because a virtual machine is just data, we can actually dynamically scale the footprint of a virtual cluster instantaneously by copying it to many nodes. So we can take a running virtual machine, which is ahead of this cluster, and clone it to many, many uh, other virtual machines, basically grow the scale of this cluster. So I'll just illustrate this. I'll be a little bit vague right now. I'll pull up my favorite painting program here. And I'll just draw a quick picture. Does anyone have a picture that they like me to draw? <laughs> Otherwise, purple I'll, elephant. A, a purple elephant? Okay. okay, purple. I'm pretty good, by the way. So. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's a mouse. Oh! It's <laughs> <laughs> my purple elephant. <laughs> so I'll just pull up a, a console now. And I'll make a copy of this purple elephant. You can see over here, I just grew, well oh, the visualization does not seem to be working, but I will open up a VNC connection to the other, there it is. There. what's the number on the, so this is the clone that I just created, and it was created in about a second, you can create any number, dozens or hundreds. And it's actually got the exact same state in this VNC session, except for the only difference is this says I am child 2 of ticket whatever, and this says cloned on ticket this. But you have the history. This thing has the exact same history, same programs are running, everything's the same. And I can even see the purple elephant here. But now it's actually, sorry about the colors, it's actually just VNC can't, uh, can't refresh it fast enough. I can actually modify this one independently of the other one, so I can add it. It's just like a real cluster. I have two machines running the same set of applications. So I'll actually go in and I'll log into our, our web console here. And a really cool part is that you can scale these two virtual clusters completely independently of one another. So I just cloned this Fedora cluster and I grew it to three. But I have this, uh, this Ubuntu cluster that's up and running and I can scale it as well. Uh, okay, you didn't see that password. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'll just make it four. So I've just grown the Ubuntu cluster from one node to four nodes. And I can actually query, here's the size of the virtual cluster, the machines that I'm running. This is a little bit techy. I'll get back into a full visual demo in a second. But I have these other IPs, so say I can just SSH to this, this other member of the cluster. Oops, I shouldn't. Yeah, I typed it correctly. Well, the IP address seemed to work anyways. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, so I SSH to this other member of the virtual cluster. This is a really powerful primitive for programmers. I know most people probably aren't programmers. But it's basically like fork in the cloud, right? So you have this very stateful cloning mechanism, and you can actually build it into applications itself. So a bioinformatics application, for example, reads in a huge data set, decides it needs 100 machines to do that work, can create those 100 machines instantaneously, and then throw them out as soon as the work is done. So I'll, I'll move on to a visual demo of that. Uh, oh, I'm stuck. I'll actually, this is the clone, right? Which one's the clone? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a funny problem. I never really had that. <laughs> so I'll just kill off everything here. And I have a simple script that, that just sends a bunch of frames to a queue. And each one of these frames takes about 30 seconds to render. It clones off a virtual machine to render each individual frame. And then once the virtual machine has rendered that frame, it copies it back to the original one and destroys itself. So I've created a, a whole cluster of computers just to render a set of eight frames, and I've done nearly instantaneously. So I think they're about done now. So I've just rendered these frames from this animation. Okay, I think my time is it. about up. So if you have any questions, find me, check out our website, sign up.